Welcome back. With hot summer weather usually comes a craving for a cold treat. But with supply chain issues and inflation impacting just about everything, including local ice cream shops, you definitely want to make sure you don't forget your wallet. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey caught up with a local shop and now joins us live in studio with more on what she found out. Olivia? Yeah, Lexi, well, between the uptick in prices for supplies and the delays in shipping, the owner at Moolicious in Southwick tells me that this has resulted in more planning and prices rising. Meantime, some customers say they find themselves getting less ice cream this summer. We're here. We've been here a long time, and uh, we grew up in Southwick, so hopefully we're here to stay. Delicious in Southwick has been serving ice cream and smiles for years, but like other businesses, they are facing the financial challenges that come with inflation and supply chain struggles. You literally have to get it in early, pray you get it in, and then hoard it all because you just, the supply chain is so diluted, it, it, you just don't know when you're going to get stuff. We caught up with Joe Didi, the owner of Moolicious in Southwick. He tells Western Mass News that to keep their doors open, they had to raise all their prices by 50 cents. Unfortunately, it's a treat. Ice cream is a treat. It's, it's a luxury. It's not a staple you need every day. So you have to be careful on your numbers because you don't want to scare people away, but in the same breath, you just can't lose thousands of dollars a month and then expect someone to stay in business. Didi shared with Western Mass News some of the price changes to supplies, which he tells us, vary from a 50 to 100% uptick. He says an order of peanuts that was once $500 is now $1,200. A 25-pound case of sprinkles that was once $42 is now $120. And an order of cherries has seen an uptick of $25. But despite these challenges, Dee, Dee tells us that portions have stayed the same. People like the size of a product, and if you start going backwards, it never seems to work. However, customers tell us that price changes have changed their usual summer plans. Prior to the pandemic, I've always like gotten ice cream two days a week, most likely. Um, but like right now, I haven't really gotten ice cream because of how bad the prices have gone up and it's not good. But the silver lining in all this, Dee, Dee tells me he and the Moolish's team are geared up and ready to take on the biggie this year and butternut for ski season. Live in studio for Western Mass News 11 at 11, I'm Olivia Hickey.